Welcome, Vasco here from the Angular University. In this lesson we are going to learn a couple of essential concepts of the Firebase SDK, references and snapshots. It's coming right up. Let's now better understand the concept of snapshot and the concept of reference. So a reference is a reference to any node in the Firebase, not only to the root node. Let's for example point to the messages node. We can do so by specifying here in the ref call, let's just ask for the messages node and let's print its value. So after clicking Ctrl S, we can see that the snapshot value that I received directly is the one entry, which is an object with the property of text and a value of hello world. And what happens if I print also the key? So the snapshot comes also with a key property, so this is not a function call. So if we try snap.key, what do we get? We get as key, we have messages, and as value, we have an object with a property of text and a value of hello world. So when we pointed to the messages node, we received a snapshot that contains as key messages itself and as value an array with only one element with an object. Let's add another object to the messages list. So let's add here an object under the key of two. So the message will be a second message, for example. So now we have two objects in the list. So take a look, the key is still messages, but the value is now an array with two objects. So as we can imagine, each object will correspond in order, in this case, to the messages that we have added here. And so what happens if we now query directly one of the objects? Is this possible? So let's try it out. Let's try to read the message 2, for example. So if we go to messages slash 2 and we hit Control S, what we receive here as key is two, which co corresponds to this. So this is the key of the node and the value corresponds to the object with message second message, which is this object right here. As you can see, the Firebase real-time database contains an arbitrary structure, just like a JSON object. We can point to any node of the database using a reference and we can query it and receive back a snapshot, which contains a key and a value. Did you notice how sometimes you get back an array and sometimes you get back an object? Be sure to see our lesson on Firebase Array Support. Now, in order to better understand Firebase, we are going to need some more data. Let's populate the data of our development database in the next lesson.